In today's video, we're opening an entire case of the new set, Legacy of Destruction. What's up guys, we are here with another case opening, which as you see before you, I took the liberty of opening all the boxes, getting all the packs out. I mixed them up really, really well, so we're gonna have a completely random opening today. It's gonna be pretty fun, 288 packs. Before we do that, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away an entire box of Legacy of Destruction. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the set so far. It's been pretty cool. I'm really liking it actually. I think it's got a lot of really old school stuff kind of mixed in with some newer, interesting stuff as well. And if you do wanna grab some of these boxes for yourself, check out Sassy Auto's link down below and get 5% off using my discount code. Let's not waste any more time. Time. let's get to it legacy of destruction also tomorrow we will be doing a live stream opening this so we did what not yesterday and we're doing a live stream tomorrow that's battle guard echo super rare a live stream opening it on youtube and obviously we're going to be opening a lot of packs i still don't know exactly what card i'm looking for because there's a lot of different cards that are decent i really want the uh dragonling i assume it's a quarter century but i don't see it on the price guide so it makes me be like mm, maybe i'm not going for that one if it doesn't exist magician of bonds and unity is always a second option you know because we want to get that last uh that last version but I'm thinking Dragonling, but I got to confirm that it even exists in a QCR before we can go for it. So if you do, if it is a QCR for sure, and somebody gets a picture of it, it'd be great because I put it on the thumbnail. Because uh, right now there are no pictures on DCG player. Then the Snake Eye stuff's pretty big. So that's something we could go for. We could go for the top card, which is the uh, Veradross, the final bringer of the end times, which is a pretty cool name. Uh, so, I mean, that that's pretty cool there, but there's nothing like, other than the Dragonling, there's not like an old school card besides the Magicians of Modern Immunity, but we've already hunted for that a couple of times. So it's not one that I wouldn't necessarily want to put on the thumbnail. Cause like, yeah, you guys have seen that card before. And yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm probably sound a little nasally cause like, it's not really the morning, but it's more toward the morning than it is the afternoon, I guess. So sometimes I, you know, I got to get my voice together. Let's see what we can do here today. Let's try to pull something crazy. Code of Souls, is that a super? Okay, I couldn't even tell. Uh, Yeah, right now I don't, I don't have, where am I putting all this stuff? Okay, yeah, trying to figure out my, my setup right now where I'm gonna put all my cards. We haven't done a ton of live streams in this setup. Uh, Big live streams, I mean, like we're like search. Oh, speaking of Dragon Lang, there it is. I hope this is a QCR because that's the one I want to get if it's a QCR, but I have still not confirmed that it is. Yeah, because on the TCG player, they only have like nine or 10 quarter centuries or something like that. Maybe 11, I don't know, but uh, there's still a few left because there's usually 15. So I'm hoping that eventually we can figure out all 15 of them. Well, and by eventually, I mean before tomorrow. 288 packs will be open today. You guys know the drill. I, I will probably be rambling at some point about nothing and sooner rather than later, most likely. Uh, about just random things that I'm thinking about because it has been a long time actually since we've done a case opening of a new set because the last new set was in February I think so like two months ago which honestly not a problem if they if they want to only release you know sparse new sets make them bangers I don't think that people are considering this a banger set though oh Diabells that's a great start the original Sin Keeper that's the best secret rare so we already got the Dragon Link and the Diabells that's a very very good start to this case looking amazing i want to keep pulling those but yeah uh the people aren't saying like oh this is an amazing set it's no age of overlord or anything like that snake eyes diabell star another good one very nice so we'd like to pull that in quarter century as well so the diabells is that a quarter century it's got to be right it's not up there though i figured it'd be a high priced one if it was and it's not on tcg so maybe that's one of the ones that's missing dark golem very cool yeah so uh unfortunately not rarity collection level speaking of rarity collection though one month away from that so next month may we are going to be opening that up. Ties that bind. I've already got my whatnot show scheduled for that because we're going to be doing that on whatnot as well, obviously, because it's going to be amazing. And then, of course, we're going to do what we did last year with the Ready Collection one. We're going to get on YouTube. This is not going to be a whatnot stream. This will be a YouTube stream. More Marshmallow. I'm going to be pulling those aside because those are awesome. Uh, but we're going to do a YouTube stream completing the entire Ready Collection 2 set. So I need to get uh, some binders for that because it's a lot of cards, but it's going to be an absolutely awesome awesome stream it's gonna be super long just like rarity collection one was because you know getting all seven versions of 80 cards takes a long time so we'll be doing that live hopefully you guys are excited for that again it was a super awesome stream last time i think everybody enjoyed it i definitely did it was so much fun it was one of the most fun streams i've ever done so i'm hoping that it will be again for rarity collection 2 we'll see how good the set is rarity collection 2 compared to rarity collection 1 probably not as good because it's you know the sequel it's hard to follow that up but either way it's going to be really exciting i'm really pumped for it 
So make sure you guys are ready for that. Make sure you subscribe to the channel before that happens, you know, because that's going to be pretty good. So you guys don't miss it because we're going to have a lot of Rarity Collection 2 content. I know people are going to love it. People are going to be buying it. And uh, you can pre-order it with Sassy Auto's uh, pre-order link down below and you get 5% off using my code. So go check that out. Supports me, helps me buy more Rarity Collection 2 and stuff like that. So uh, appreciate if you guys do that. Spearhead in the Ashen City. Very, very cool saying and summoning. All right. Since the last uh, mega live stream, I've gotten another desk to my right, which is really helpful. So now when during these big streams, I actually have extra places to put all these commons. <laughs> I can set them in different stacks. I Before I had like a very, very small amount of space to put the, the commons in this new setup. But now that actually helps a lot because I've got all that extra space on my right. So and I'm thinking about for rarity where I'm going to put the other binder because last time we had it on like a chair. Uh, I think it'll work if I put it on this other desk and we'll have another camera for that. That'll be cool. And by camera, I mean my other phone that I haven't used since I moved. And it's like an iPhone 7. So it's definitely dead right now. It dies in like five seconds. Okay, rag. Or maybe I'll just have to set up and I'll move my phone, you know, where it needs to go. I might have to get another arm for that. We'll see. We'll keep it going. We'll figure that out. Uh, I probably should do that sooner rather than later, though, because it is a month away from Rarity Collection 2, which is pretty crazy. Let's keep it going. Let's keep pulling so far. Ooh, we have a Varados, the final bringer of the end times. Oh, this is the big uh, QCR. So, I mean, it's not a QCR, but I wonder what the secret goes for. The Varados. It's a $21 secret. I'm opening this on Thursday. So I'm doing pre-release prices right now. It'll be edited Thursday. I know you're seeing this Friday, so the pre-release prices will be different from the current prices, most likely. So keep that in mind. I know some people will freak out about that. I try to say that every time to remind you guys that Friday is the day. So new sets release to locals on Wednesday. So Wednesday, Thursday, prices are whack. They're only uh, like posted on TCG Player by uh, certain people like uh, verified stores and stuff like that. Then when it comes to Friday, everybody can post and the prices go down. The prices go it's kind of what they're more like what they'll be realistically. They might even go back up though. Centurion X Oxila. Very cool, secret rare. So keep that in mind. These Thursday prices are usually nuts. They're usually crazy for most cards. So if you see something that's like 15 bucks and now it's five, that's because it was a pre-release price. Okay, we have the Minerva, the Athenian Light Sworn. I kind of want to pull out some of these mix. It's a pretty nice card as well. There's a lot of cards I like in here. Okay, we have Melodious, Ancient Gear Golem, Ancient Gear Golem. I mean, I kind of really need to be pulling out White Lord too, don't I? I mean, come on, there's so many epic commons in this set that I like. Got to just keep pulling them out. We have Centurion, Mirage, Mirror Force, Tenpai, and Ragna Samurai. Ashen to the Endless, Centurion, Sengapai, Cash Nerd, and Ancient Gear, Iron Treads. There we go. Little Pokemon right there. Speaking of, go check out Pokerux if you guys haven't already. That's like 6,500 subs. Doing pretty awesome right now. Uh, last video, go give it a check out. There's another secret rare, the final bringer of the end times. It has, I mean, I really like the video. It's not, it didn't blow up or anything like some of the others, but go check it out. These new set releases are pretty, uh, wake up Centurion, pretty stressful weeks for me because like I have everything kind of, all right, I'm going to do these new sets and everything. And then like, but, but then we have like whatnot streams and everything. And I really have to wait until all the product arrives to even start recording. So you're like way behind the whole week. Vados, the dragon of the endless darkness. So all week you're like recording it the day before the day of, you know, get it edited, everything, get it back, get the thumbnails ready. And then like, as soon as you're done with that, you got to work on the next one if you can. Pyrite Night, which a lot of the times you can't because you're waiting on it. It's just, yeah, it's like can't get ahead at all. So this is the last last uh, one of these I got to record. But then we I got to get the, uh, the streams ready. So we got to stream tonight. We got to stream Saturday. So we got to you know pack up all those orders. You got to get everything ready. Just a lot going on. A lot going on during this week. But new sets are great because, you know, brings in new people, stuff like that. DBL Star. So they're all it's a good it's good and bad, you know, and this set's been I like the set. I mean, it's not going to like bl like blow anybody's mind, I don't think, with like crazy expensive cards or anything like that. But it does have a lot of cool cards that I like and I'm a fan of. We have the Rekindling of the Ashen, Tenpai. We've got Ragnarok. Ragnarika. I think as I say that, Ragnarika Skeletal Soldier. We have the, oh, Ragnarika Stag Sovereign, the Link 5. Some links in here, getting some Link action. I haven't said, wait, no Pendulums in this set? <gasps> So sad. Oh no, I'm just kidding. Not sad. We have Sangapai Transcended Dragon, Cash Nerd Witch, Goblin Biker. What else can we pull? We have a lot of packs to be open today. Flowering of the Melodious Magnificat. Magnificat with the Magnificat. One of the two. 
We have Code of Soul. Many, many cards will be pulled today. But will any of them be a QCR? We should have QCRs in here. So far, we have not gotten one. We've opened a lot of packs. No QCR. More Marshmallow on. Good to see that. It's only our second one, to be honest. I mean, I don't know why I need to be honest about that, but only our second one, which is pretty sad. Talons, uh, Mick again. We've got Pyrite Knight, Goblin Biker. Been a while since we've done one of these massive openings, so got to get back in the flow of it. There's the Grandora or the Gandora, not Grandora. Sorry, you're not a Gran. You're a Gan. You're a Gandora. Secret Rare. Very cool cover card. Really cool looking artwork. I'm a fan of that one. I mix these up super well, like the most I've ever done. Like I was putting like what, like a new like only like two packs per stack it was kind of crazy normally i'll just kind of stack them up in boxes and just go from there and just kind of pick random ones but now i've mixed them up and i'm picking random ones so it's super mixed up we have ragnarok chain coils dimpy dragon haggard can we please oh come on what is happening here oh that, that sound is painful it hurts it hurts we have enlightenment dragon very cool card white lord also an amazing card white lord <sighs> the whites what an interesting archetype we have uh metal tronus expecto metal tronus yeah it's a new thing it's a new thing it, it exists all right lights worn more lights worn stuff spirit of the ashen city ragnarok a white lord has returned more white lord more opening of packs in papa's footsteps fishborg we've got iron treads white lord again oh my goodness he's everywhere okay Keep it going. Keep it going. We got way, uh, way there's a will. Way there's a will. Way there's a will. Not where there's a will. Way there's a will. Way there's a will. There's a where. Or, <laughs> yeah, I guess that would be a metal, old, metal universe. Multi universe. I can't read. It's getting bad. That, that way there's a will got me very confused. Okay, we have sinful spoils. We have Safira, Divine Dragon, the Voiceless Voice. That's a nice pull. Ultra rare. Very good. I haven't really hit anything recently. I finally pulled something. Can we get a QCR? I mean, come on. We have Gold Pride Eradicator. We pulled that originally. The Dino Vatus Dokus. That's pretty cool. 1,500, 200 defense. Always oh, a six star. Interesting. Ancient Gear Commander is a really cool looking artwork. I just like so many of these cards. They're just some nice looking stuff in Legacy of Destruction. I'll say that, okay? You got a problem with it? Tell me to my face. Mirage Mirror Force. Okay, we got Iron Treads. Make sure you let me know in the comments what you do actually think about this set, though. I want to know. I want to know. I probably know already, though, from the other videos. But, you know, let me know again, just in case. We have Baka. Tenpai Dragon. Let's go, Jungle Dweller. We have Fishborg. Harpoona. It's harpooning some dangerous Yu-Gi-Oh monsters. Now, we need to pull something amazing. Because right now, Skeletrice Valmonica. That is, I mean, that's not amazing, but it is an Ultra. I'll take it. We're making a dent in the pile, but we really have not opened that much as of right now, I don't think. Rekindling, super rare. Kindling the Ashen. So is that like related to rekindling like the original card or no? Uh, extinguished, we have the Mick, Code of Souls. Weiss. Keep searching for those epic mods. We have one Diabelle so far. We pulled it early on. Let's see if we can continue to pull those. That would be nice. Light Sworn Dragonling. I would love to continue to pull that. That's amazing. I love the Dragonling. He's a cute little dragon. Very cute and very dragonly and very epic for Light Sworn. We have the, oh, Gandora, not Grandora. You're not a Gran. I'm sorry. You're not old. I know that. Well, you probably are old, actually, because if you're Yugi's playing you, you know, he probably got it from old Yugi. He was like, yeah, this was popular back in the day. Pedra, first one, first $17 super, which I'm saying it's 17. By the time you guys see this, I'm guessing it's cheaper because it's a super rare. There's no way that's holding up at $17. Um, but as of right now, it's still at 17. So yeah, pretty wild. We have the Embers of the Ashen. I mean, so I'd love to pull a lot of those supers. That'd be great. Uh, those are going to be money. Uh, we have the, oh, what is this? The Vados, Ultra Rare. Very cool. Destruction. Shall we pull them? We have Ragnarika, the Evil Seed. I have not seen this one. Okay. Ragnarika, Secret Rare, the Evil Seed. I don't see it anywhere. Dragon Link's a $15 Ultra. Nice. That's doing pretty well. So if that's a QCR, it's going to do pretty decent. We have the blessings of the voiceless voice. They're blessing you with no voice. Voiceless voice, you could say. I guess they have one. It's just voiceless. Uh, Nightmare Throne and a Mick. Very cool. 18 minutes in, guys. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. If you are, make sure you... Oh, I forgot to mention. You guys got to grab your popcorn. I'm sure you've already done it. If you guys are if you guys are veterans of the case openings, you know you already have your feet up. You have your popcorn. You guys know what to do. And you guys know what's coming next. And it's coming very soon. But I'm not going to say it too early in the video. So 
You guys got to keep watching it for that, okay? Which I know, if you're a veteran, you are already doing that. So I'm, I didn't need, I didn't tell you anything you didn't already know. We got White Lord back at it again. Legacy of Destruction, guys. Legacy of Destruction. We got Pendulum Witch. Very cool. Gruesome Grave Squirmer. Very gruesome. Very squirmy. Pretty gruesome. Lot of packs still to be opened. We have Zoma. We have Flowering E12. A twill. Okay. Blink out. Still searching. Still hoping for some amazing cards. Can we get them? We have Future Silence for the Silent Magician. Okay, very cool. Secret Rare. Not necessarily a crazy one, I would guess. I've never seen a price on it. I'm guessing it's very cheap because it's if it's related to Silent Magician. Actually, it's related to Yugi, isn't it? Yugi archetype. I mean, I could see it having nostalgia, like bring it up a little bit, but it's probably not great. So I'm guessing it's not very good, right? That's my guess. You better open up, buddy. We've got Centurion Oxila for our second copy of that, I think. The Oxilla, Oxilla. Kind of, it's kind of like a like a dinosaur, Oxilla. We have Enlightenment Dragon, super rare. I think our second one of those as well. Still many packs to open up. We're probably not even halfway through the case yet, so we got a, we got quite a ways to go. We have Embers of the Ashen. A lot of packs to be opened, guys. A lot of potential. We need more Diabels. That's all I know. We need some QCRs actually. We don't even bold one. There should be like three in a three in a case usually. You can get four. Hopefully not two. That would be pretty rough. Um, so hopefully that doesn't happen. We have Gold Pride Eliminator, Ragnarika, Legacy of Destruction. Bless us with something awesome. Your destruction will be imminent. We have Mick. We have another super rare. Yeah, great. What else can we pull? Case opening. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the longer video. You know, it, it usually happens with case openings. Those are usually are probably are not our longest, but most of our longest videos are case openings. Sometimes we have, you know, the big crazy openings where we open every pack or whatever. Those can take forever as well. But this case opening stuff can take quite a while. Yes, it can. All right, let's keep it. Okay, we got the Ragnarika Bloom, another one of those, very creepy. Next pack, can we pull something epic? Let's go, we have, I mean, so far no QCRs, which is, I mean, I think we're past four boxes now probably. Maybe we're right at like four boxes, so we might be like right at the ratio of getting one. Man, I cannot slide these cards. There's a Mick, there's a Super. It really just wants to go right to the Super when it's a Super. I mean, it's guaranteed foil, so really they just want to go right to the foil every time. Which is kind of good, except that I'm pulling out some of these commons. I'm trying to make sure I don't skip them. Super rare, ancient gear. Let's get something like a QCR. I mean, it'd be cool to get a QCR that's not on the TCG page at the moment. That'd be pretty fun, because then, you know, it's completely unexpected. Hopefully it's the Dragonling, but the thing is that I wouldn't be, have to search for the Dragonling. But uh, Dragonling or the uh, the big secret Diabelles would be really cool. That'd be a big one. That'd probably be quite expensive if we pulled that one, which is always a nice thing if you pull it. Multi-universe, we have the Tenpai Dragon. We still have only pulled one Tenpai Dragon, uh, the super, whatever the last, whatever it's actually called, Tenpai Dragon something. <laughs> Tenpai Dragon $17 super, that's what I call it. Uh, the Iron Treads, back at it. Oh, I can't, can't hold on to uh, the pack. Gotta catch it. We have the Shaman of the Ashen City. Ancient Gear Iron Treads. Can we pull a QCR? Hopefully there's some QCRs in this case, because, you know, we have had cases with no collector rares. Let's not make it a case with no QCRs. That would be even worse. Uh, that would be just really bad. Uh, it, I mean, it'd be about the same, actually, because those are kind of like four, Q, four CRs, but three QCRs, but they kind of usually add up to around the same amount. But some QCRs are really low. They're kind of like really bad CRs too, so maybe not. It just depends on which ones you would have gotten or whatever. More Marshmallow, only the third one of those, I think, which compared to the Tenpai Dragon, which we have one of, I guess it's uh, pretty good. If we had three of those right now, we'd be pretty happy. I think they probably short printed that Super Rare. I don't know how many Super Rares are in the set though. There might be like 40 Supers or something stupid, but they probably short printed it. If it's that expensive, that's gotta be, I mean, it's gotta be somewhat short printed, right? Well, I guess we'll find out more likely tomorrow, like when everybody could list on TCG. If there's a million of them out there because they're not short printed, then it'll go way down. But we kind of got to wait for that. But from what I've seen, I think we pulled like three total, two total out of our last couple openings. So I don't remember how many it was. Now that I think it was only two. So it was two and four boxes that that rate you'd get six a case. That seems sort of low, but it's also not like it's not like as low as if you were uh, 
you know, opening for uh, getting ultras or secrets. Like those are like three per case usually. Uh, so it's not, maybe it's not, who knows? We'll have to find out based on just opening a ton of packs between now and tomorrow. Can we keep it going? Get more of these epic cards. Still no QCR though. Oh, 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 what was I saying? How about still no QCR? Now we got one. We got one coming up. Okay, shiny, amazing, exciting. We have not pulled one yet in this case. I'm hoping for one that's not on the list and a good one. So Dragonling, hopefully it would be amazing. The Diabells, those are the two I really want. We have Ragnarika, Gruesome Grave Squirmer. Come on, give us something big. We see that shine on the side. It's a dead giveaway that something big's coming. We have a Gogoil, the Steel Seismic Smasher, Ash into the Endless. Cooling embers, the burning bush, except for it's cooling, so it's not really. Simultaneous equation cannons, and we have, oh, this is the, the bloom. What does that say? Ragnarika bloom, there we go. I don't, I don't think this one's great. <laughs> All right, I think we got our wish. I don't think it's on the list, um, except for that I'm pretty sure it's not a very good one either. <laughs> so it's bittersweet. We got what we wanted, one that was not listed, but it is not one of the big ones. So unfortunately, that's the case. So let's see if we can, Turn it around, get something big next time. We got White Lord. Okay, okay, that's that's all right. We can recover from this. We got a couple more, a couple more to pull. They're gonna be good. They're gonna be epic. They're gonna turn it around. We have Ancient Gear, Dark Golem. Ancient Gear Golem, another White Lord. I have so many White Lords. This is crazy. They're everywhere. Legacy of Destruction, please bless us with your crazy pulls. Got the Nightmare Apprentice, Secret Rare. That's a nice one. First time pulling that, actually. Today, at least. I mean, we've pulled it before, but... I mean, including the big QCR the other day, so go check that one out. That was pretty epic. We have Shaman of the Ashen City, Dinovatus Dukas. Please bless us with something crazy. We want something big, Mirage Bear Force. By the way, if you've made it this far into the video, you are a true fan. And you guys know what that means. You are a true fan in a long case, so when you're sitting back, relaxing, you're eating your popcorn, we're gonna have a secret code that belongs only to the fans of the channel. And what that means is, I'm gonna say, a secret phrase and you're gonna put it in the comments and then no one else will know except for us only true fans of the channel so what the secret phrase will be will be we got to use this the tantrum caused sinful destruction how about that the tantrum caused sinful destruction how about that it sounds a little sketch i kind of like it people will be really confused by that one the tantrum caused sinful destruction do it oh there's a pager that's number two Okay, we're getting some pagers now. White Lord. We're getting some good stuff. Second Pedra. Very nice. Only one Diabell so far in this opening. We have a Gadget Trio. First one of those. Little Gadget action. Legacy of Destruction. Not of Darkness. We've opened a lot of Legacy of Darkness, but I think we're going to pass it uh, with the amount we open of Legacy of Destruction right here. To here and later, we're going to... We. I wonder... We've probably opened a case worth of Legacy of Darkness at this point, but... By tomorrow, it's going to be blown out of the water. We have not opened much more than that. Because we have opened a lot of Legacy of Darkness over the years, but this is going to be quite a lot when we open tomorrow. Let's see. Metal Tronus. Metal Tronus! We are continuing to pull epic cards. I need more super rares. I need more good QCRs. We have Dandy White Lion. We have Mick. Mikazukinyo Yaiba. Okay. Okay, let's try to figure this out. Here we go. This is the moment of the video. Mikazukino Yaiba. Mikazukino Yaiba. Mikazukino Yaiba. Mikazukino Yaiba. I think it's Mikazukino Yaiba. Mikazukino Yaiba. Doesn't flow off the tongue. I'm not going to lie. There's probably a way to say it that does, but I don't know it. I don't know it. <laughs> I really don't. Uh, super rare, but I, I gave him my best chance. There was Iron Treads. My best shot. I tried it out. Look, I didn't just give up. I didn't just throw in the towel and just call it Mick the whole time, which I did I did a lot of the time, but then I gave it a chance, okay? I said, you know what? Let's go for this. Let's swing for the fences. It's a baseball reference, which nobody watches anymore, but still makes sense, okay? All right, let's see. Legacy Destruction. If you watch baseball still, let me know in the comments. Let me know why you still watch baseball. Snake Eyes Diabell Star. I need to know why. I currently have a fantasy baseball team. Still don't watch baseball, but I have a fantasy baseball team. I decided I'd, uh, you know, try to figure out some of the players this year because it's been a while. It's been like 10 years. Probably more than that since I did fantasy. Baseball, at least. Obviously, everybody does football. It's the best. And yeah, so now I know a couple of guys, uh, but that's that's about it. I don't really watch it, though. So let me know why you watch it. The pitch clock's pretty cool. It's definitely made it better, in my opinion. All the uh, old school people will not agree, but Ragnarok of the Evil Seed. Very cool. 
So there's an evil seed and a bloom. There's two different ones. They look very similar though. But oh yeah, I guess the bloom is a spell card, isn't it? Yep, that's a big difference. Okay, Spearhead of the Ashen City. Keep it rolling. Keep it opening. Keep it pulling. Let's go. Dandy White Lion. Okay, yeah, by the time you see this, guys, it's going to be Friday. And unfortunately, the Lakers are going to be down 3-0, which is going to be sad. So it's going to be, yeah, I know it's basketball talk, but it's NBA playoffs. So if you're not watching it, you're missing out. It's good stuff, unless you're a Lakers fan. Yeah, they're getting waxed. Okay, back to Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, I'm just, yeah, we're on the rambling, the rambling side of things at this point. What, what else can we ramble about? Hmm. Hmm, we are almost at the end of Radical Red on Twitch. Again, we made it to Radical Red once before. We made it to the Elite Four once. That's on uh, my last Radical Red video on Poker Rock, so you guys can see what happened there. We are back. We're trying to make a team. It's tough. Stick Tendo is helping me out. Ties that bind. Jeff is helping me out on Twitch. We're trying to we're trying to get the uh, the perfect team together so we can win Future Silence. Uh, and it is tough. It is tough. There's so many options. So like every Elite Four member has two different teams, except for the champion has three different teams. But really his are pretty similar though. It's just based. Actually, his might not even be different. Now that I think about this, is his actually different? Because it's it might just be the starter change, but everything else, there's two different teams and everybody else, which makes it hard. One starts off with a double battle, you know, Laura Lee double battle. It's it's tough. There, It's very hard to plan for because there's so many different things that can happen. The teams are incredible. They have like legendaries on them and stuff. And you can't change your Pokemon. You can only use six. And doing a Nuzlocke, you know, if you lose somebody in, in the first one, you know, you lose somebody against... Laura Lee, you're down to five Pokemon the rest of the way. And then in a Nuzlocke against legendaries, it's very hard. It's very hard if you lose somebody, you're pretty much screwed. So we've been trying to figure that out over there and not have it end tragically like in a previous time. We don't want to do that. It probably will, but we don't want it to happen. Okay, Battle Guard Echoes. So yeah, that's what we got that going on over there. We got all the openings coming up. We got Nightmare Throne. What else can we chat about, guys? Legacy of Destruction. I mean, obviously Legacy of Destruction. We, there's a lot of things to talk about that we've already mentioned. We talked about Rarity Collection coming up soon. There's a lot of events coming up, like Indianapolis is at the beginning of June, right after Rarity. Nationals is in July. Going to Card Party 2 in July. So if you guys are at any of those, I don't know for sure I'm going to Indy. I don't know for sure I'm going to Nationals, but I'm probably going to at least nationals. Indy's very close, so I'll probably make an appearance. Um, I just don't know who else is going. Pedra, another nice one. I don't know who's going at the moment, so I'll probably be there, but not totally sure. A lot of, oh, Diabelle's finally got another one. That's the second one. Pulled two in two boxes the other day. Now we've gotten two in like eight or seven boxes. Who knows how long it's been. So a lot of events coming up in the summer. Are gonna be fun. Hopefully you guys are going to some of them. I'll see you guys there. Uh, Raleigh was super fun. If you guys didn't see the vlog, vlogs usually don't perform super well, but I really like how they come out. It's just like a different form of video for you guys. And I know a lot of you guys do like them. So if you didn't see it and you want to see the vlog for Raleigh, it was pretty awesome. A lot of captured a lot of good stuff on there. So go check that video out. I posted it a few days ago. It's like Tuesday, I think. So go give that one a shot. See if you guys like it. A little bit different from the open. We did do openings in it though. So if you're just an opening fan, there is openings in there. So uh, you can go see that. There's also a lot of cool cards. We've met a lot of people. Had an actual sort of vloggy beginning where I actually talked about a little bit about my trip, which normally I don't do as much, but I drove. So it was a very long trip. So I figured I'd get a few clips in there. Plus, we got the uh, card shop I stopped at with some amazingly rare cards coming up very soon. So keep an eye out for that. That will be a full video at some point, probably next week. Thanks to Legacy of Destruction, you know, just take it up all the time because it's a new set and everything. So it'll be after that Marshmallow. These are harder to open. I feel like I'm like having to work to open these. I said this the other day, but I'm really noticing it now in these huge openings. It's taking a lot of effort to get these packs open. Like I really got to rip them like I could put some force in there. Uh, ultra rare. That guy's pretty cool looking. There's a lot of great artworks in this set. I will say that that is for sure. For sure, and seven years ago, we have Fishborg. Can we bless ourselves with something? I mean, Nightmare Princess, that is pretty good. Okay, we should still have some QCRs in here. We're getting, I mean, I feel like we're definitely over half. We're definitely over half, right? Gotta be. It's really hard to tell, but I would say we're like at least two thirds, maybe around two thirds, maybe not at least, maybe around two thirds. Rekindling the Ashen. Tantrum Toddler, pretty cool. Pretty cool card. I love toddlers and tantruming. It's great. It's a great combo. Uh, Mirage Mirror Force. I, these cards are not one to, to be opened here. The Golgoyle. The Golgoyle. It's like a gargoyle, but he's a Golgoyle instead. We are deep into this video. Silent Magician Zero with a mic. Very cool. 
feel like I whistled. Did my teeth whistle right there? I think I did a little whistle. I didn't put my teeth back in. Which, by the way, I am like on week. I've done them for like week 30, 45 or something. Because I did 31 weeks. Then I'm on week 14 or 15 now. So I have been uh, wearing the Invisalign for quite a while. I think I'm almost done, which is pretty cool. Because it feels like I just started it. Like, And I remember you guys remember when I first got it and I couldn't talk? It was like super hard for me to talk. I was lisping all over the place. Probably just got used to me doing it, but I think I got a little bit better about that. But yeah, it's crazy. I think I have like nine or 10 more weeks and I should be done at that point. I don't know what happens after. I think you still have to wear like a retainer and stuff, but it hasn't really been bad, honestly. I thought it was going to be really annoying and stuff, like having all that stuff in your mouth and having to take it in and out for meals and stuff. Honestly, it's not been a problem. Like you just kind of get used to it. Just kind of do whatever you need to do. It doesn't really hurt too much. It hurts a little bit when you first put the new one, the new ones in. But overall, it's been pretty chill. And now my teeth aren't uh, cutting my mouth as much. <clears throat> Before it was like my tongue kept getting cut by my own teeth, which was like this is just crazy. Like I have a very sensitive mouth for some reason. I don't know why. It's been a lot better now. Now that they're straight. Uh, Skeletal Trice Valmonica still not perfect, obviously, because we got nine or ten weeks left, but working on it working on it very cool we have the metal tronus expecto metal tronus all right we have rekindling the ashen weiss lights one angel Whew. we are down to i don't know we still have a lot of packs but we are down to a lot less than we started with how about that a lot less than we started with oh another thing i can chat about I, i've actually been watching a show. If you guys uh, have been following the X-Men 97 that came out, the cartoon that's like a follow up to the original. So when I, I heard about it, I was like, that sounds good. Like, I like X-Men, the movies and stuff. I, ne I never watched the original. So I went and watched it. That's when about there was only five episodes out at the time. And I was like, wow, there's only five episodes in this. That's kind of weird. I then realized it was a weekly release. So I watched five episodes and then I'm like, wow, that was a weird ending. You know, <laughs> I thought it just ended. I eventually found out it was a week re weekly release and there was more episodes coming. But then I realized it was a sequel like i was watching i was like this seems like stuff's happened before so i went back and found the old show which is also on disney uh minerva and i started watching that so now i'm on season three of the original cartoon which is like 1992 to 1997 early 97 when it ended uh and i'm on season three out of five so i'm catching up to that so i can then go back and watch the other episodes well i'll probably just re-watch the five episodes i watched already because it'll make more sense because you kind of have a grasp if you've only watched the movies of what's going on except for that the history is different you know different things happen in the show than happen in the movie so probably going to re-watch those and then watch the last five episodes i think i think there's 10 total and so far i've really liked it i think the original the original show is really good actually i think it's pretty solid there are definitely you can see like where all the movies came from like they were inspired by like some of them even have like the same names in some of the episodes of the movie like days of future past is like it's is a two episode like series i guess you could call it one in the first season i think uh and that becomes a movie later uh and but they're not all exactly the same like you can see the stories are based on this but they didn't just copy it they kind of changed up the story like the wolverine origin story is different um i'm like in the middle of that right now but i've really liked it actually because i'm i'm an x-man x-man x-men fan okay silent swordsman zero i have not seen that one yet that's the first time pulling that and so i think 97 is actually gonna be pretty lit it's definitely when you go from 97 to the old one the quality of like the show graphics and stuff is way better which even though it's a cartoon it's like that was in the 90s and this one's like just came out so it looks way better on the new one shining sarcophagus our first time pulling that uh but it doesn't really make a difference you know if you're not really paying too much attention but it's definitely a pretty cool show so if you guys are interested in that go check it out i mean i'm not it's obviously not sponsored this is just like something i've been enjoying so we have a mick which would be cool sponsored by x-men it would be pretty pretty awesome <laughs> I don't think we're getting to that point. I don't think that's going to happen, though. It would kind of translate, though, because like X-Men, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, I mean, like very nerdy stuff. You know, we have Code of the Soul, so it kind of kind of uh, makes sense. Marvel, you know, whatever. They definitely have some. OK, one, two, three, four. Here we go. <sighs> Let's go. Is this going to be it? Is this going to be the Diabells, which I assume has a QCR? The Dragonling. Let's see. Give us a big one. Just give us something awesome. Ragnarika, come on, Sangan summoning. Tantrum Toddler, we have In Papa's Footsteps. Sangan, give us something big. Shiny, shiny, here we go. What will it be? Oh, we, oh, the 
Diabels! It is the Diabels! No way! Oh, these names get me every time I try to read the name. Can't see it. Look at the artwork. I'm like, wait, that is the Diabels. No way. That is a big one. Oh my gosh. This is not on TCG at the moment. I would assume that this is the best quarter century because this is a $37 card at the moment. The card that's the most is a like a $20 secret. This is a higher valued secret. So it should be, I mean, up in the 200s, I think, because the other one's at 192. So that is probably the best card that we're going to pull. Like that is an amazing pull. OK, great start. Let's go. And by great start, I know we've been in this video for a long time. I mean, great start just to the set opening, because obviously, like, we, we've been opening for a while. <laughs> Diabells, let's go. Rhyme Style is probably going to be, he's going to be hitting me up for that one. I think that's probably going to happen. Gold, he's going to be like, hey, uh, you got me? You got me on the D-Bells? All right. Pretty nice card. Pretty nice card. I just, man, I just wish the QCRs were not impossible to read. Like, literally, there's just no way to read that. There's just no way. Like, you got to have X-ray vision. Speaking of X-Men, I mean, there's just no way. It's impossible to read, but okay. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at all that I can't read it. That's a great card. Uh, that is an epic, epic card. Yeah, it, after all the Starlights, I, I've had a bunch of Starlights because we had that big collection of Starlights. You guys can go check that out. We bought a bunch of PSA 10s. They just look amazing compared to the QCRs. Like, just absolutely a million times better. It's just, it's un unfortunately, it's true. I mean, they just look so much better. You can read the names. The silver just looks better than the gold. Like, overall, it is a much superior card. And yeah, if, I, if I'm picking between the two, I'm definitely taking Starlight. Unfortunately, the Starlight still, I think, costs more. Uh, Gandora, Secret Rare, very cool. Should still have another QCR, so let's make this a crazy one. Let's get the uh, the other, the Snake Eyes Diabell Star. Let's get that. Let's get that and make it happen. We have the, whew, a lot of legacy, a lot of destruction. I'm destroying the epicness here. We have the, uh, okay, Marshmallow. Very cool. Can we keep pulling amazing stuff? We have Code of Soul. Ragnarika Ono. Cards do not want to stack up. Stay stacked, you cards. We have had amazing pulls so far. We've had really good luck with this set. Like yesterday's video, like it wasn't necessarily with this set, but opening it next to this set, Age of Overlord. I mean, the pulls we had yesterday, absolutely crazy. And now we're pulling this stuff. Like we are popping off right now. We've gotten a few Tempai Dragon Supers. We've gotten two Diabells and then of course the QCR. Hopefully we'll get one more good play set. Overall, we've done pretty, pretty well. Fishborg, Hapuna. And that fourth card does not want to show itself. It feels like I'm trying to shift through like putty. It's impossible to move these cards. Like they do not want to move. Minerva, Ultra Rare, it's very, very hard on my fingers. You're like, ugh, pushing. And then the, look at this. It wants to stick there every time. You're trying to get it to show itself, but it won't. White Lord, it is really difficult. Light of Destruction is not what we are opening, but we will. It will be an opening coming in when is that august or something the reprint you guys saw the video i posted about that i just still cannot believe that i guess i that's something we should have been rambling about i did make a video about that though but still i still can't believe that they reprinted that that is the most out of left field thing ever like it just does not make sense to me i'm excited though because it's going to be a super fun opening and then like having those in mystery boxes for years and years is going to be really cool as well white lord that's just going to add some cool stuff for content in the future. Um, still not really sure why, like, that, that we needed any of those reprints. But, hey, I mean, people are going to love having the chance to pull ultis, pull ghosts. I mean, that's going to be cool. It's going to be super fun. It's definitely going to bring a lot of enjoyment to everybody. And that is something I can't complain about. White Lord, Light of Destruction. I keep saying Light of Destruction. Legacy of Destruction. Legacy of Darkness plus Light of Destruction is what we have right here. Ultra Rare. Still a decent amount of packs. I would say we're down to like two boxes, maybe three, something like that. Still a lot to be pulled the rest of the way. Hopefully more supers that are worth quite a bit, you know, those big ones. Hopefully more nice pulls like the Mick. Very cool. Uh, we got Iron Treads, of course. Naturally, Iron Treads, the Pokemon. We want to get more Diabells. Those would be really big. They're not crazy expensive, but it would be nice. We have the multi-universe. The multi-universes are appearing to us. The last part, we still have another QCR in theory, right? We should have another one. And I hope that is the case because it's kind of rough when you don't get all your high rarity cards when it comes to making your money back and the value and stuff. So yeah, and obviously just being happy, you know? <laughs> Even if it's not about the value, you want to get all your high rarity cards. It just sucks when you don't. Uh, Battle Guard. Ancient Gear 
duo something? Can you hear something? I put it away. It's in the stack now. It has been banished to the stack of commons. We have the Ragnarika Bloom. We have seen that in QCR form. I can actually read it though, and it's a secret rare. Okay. Sinful spoils. We have the ties that bind. Yugi Moto, activate your skill. Ties that bind. Power up your Pokemon. 100 attack. Pokemon. <laughs> Too much Pokemon. Oh. Okay. All right. We got a QCR there. We're going to save that for the end for fun. We're going to save it for the end just in case. We might have four though. So I'm not going to. It's possible. I'm not going to say that's the last one. But we want to save that for a little dramatic effect. See what it's going to be. Marshmallow on, super rare. Very awesome. I love that. Give us more Tempai Dragon. What do we want that last QCR to be? I mean, I would love for it to be the Dragonling, obviously, but then I don't know. We're going to, we're probably going to have to hunt for something else if we get that. Uh, if we get them both the ones I wanted. Dragonling is the one I'm searching for. It might not even exist, which is the sad part. Void Burial, the Dragon Undertaker. Void Burial. All right, this is what we got left right here. These packs. It's about, about a box and a half a box, something like that. Can we? Let's just go straight to it because, yeah, it's just too hard to open these right now. They are just being difficult with me, okay? They're being difficult, okay? You stop being difficult. There's a super rare. Legacy, please. Bless us with a fourth QCR. Make it happen right. Super rare. Now. Right. Or another Diabells would be big. We have a super. Like, just regular. It doesn't even have to be QCR. It could just be a secret. That would be nice. Nightmare Princess is good. Turn silence, okay. Shining Circle. Yeah, I need a, that Yugi Moto archetype. I wonder if it's like even decent. I got. I'm interested in that just because it's ran, it's so many random Yugi cards like that don't fit together at all, other than the fact that Yugi uses them. It's very interesting. Light Sworn Drag. Is that only our second Dragonling? I think it is. We only got two Ultra Dragonlings. That thing is tough to get. Okay, Pedra. Pedra, that's worth more than the Dragon Link somehow. Like a dollar and a half more. We have the Super Rare. Okay, very cool. Give us something big. If you guys have enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because we have more epic stuff coming up, including that live stream tomorrow. So make sure you're here for that. We're going to be opening for many, many more cool cards. Hopefully we'll get all the cards that we want. It's always nice when that happens. Sometimes it doesn't. Going to be a lot of packs open. So come show up for that. I want to see you guys there. And don't forget to subscribe for more epic content coming in the future. Shining Sarcophagus. Nice card. Very nice card. Very shiny. Very Sarcophagus-like. Mirage Mirror Force. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Last few packs. Will we get... I'm now really struggling. I'm just throwing cards everywhere. I can't keep them straight. It's bad. They're not wanting to stay. I can't grab these. What is happening? This is not going to be good tomorrow, guys. I've only opened a case and I'm already losing it. This is not good. I'm completely just like my fingers are not working. They're not working and they must work. We must open more pack. Come on. Legacy of Destruction. Ancient Dark Golem. It's a cool card. I keep pulling an Ancient Gear Dark Golem. That'd be actually a really cool QCR as well. We're down to definitely a box or less. Probably less than a box. Pyrite Knight. <sighs> shining sarcophagus that's a card very shiny we got a mick as well okay here we go here they are i reorganized them once again just so you can really tell how many we have left tempai dragon pedra let's go more of those please as many of those as you want to give us i will be happy as many of those where's a mick there's a super final few packs give us a fourth qcr come on fourth qcr before we reveal Oh, Diabells! Let's go! The original Sin Keeper. That's a place play set of the secret rares and a QCR. You love to pull the top card at least three times with the high rarity version. That's big. Wake up Centurion. Very cool. Very awesome stuff has been pulled. I'm very happy with that. Other Diabells. I mean, getting two and a QCR is still good, but three and a QCR? That's great. That's really great. Uh, more Marshmallow. Yes, love to see you, Marshmallow. Want to pull more and more of those. More Marshmallow. We have Mirage, Mirror Force. It's a Mirage, but it's a Mirror Force. Will it be real? Will it be fake? We have the ultra rare guy. He has a very gold name. Hard to read. So the QCRs not only have like the fact that the shiny is all over the name, but it's also the gold names are hard to read in general. So it really doubles down on not being able to read those. <laughs> Makes it really tough. Okay. Legacy of Destruction. Middle Thronus. Give us one more big pull. Give us another Pedra. Give us another secret. That's nice. You know, a nice secret, not a bad secret. Blessings of the Voiceless Voice. 
The end of this case is coming soon. Been pretty good to us, I'll have to say. Lightsworn Dragonling, that's a pretty big one. That is pretty, pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not going to lie. That is pretty nice. We have multi-universe, super rare. Four packs left. Can we pull something epic? Shaman of the Ashen City. Three packs, then we reveal our final QCR. Unless we get another one right here. Let's see. Let's do it. Pyrite Knight, another super. Two packs left. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the long videos and the case openings. There will be more that you can watch. Silent Swords and Zero. In the, uh, I'll link it at the, in the end screen, but go to the case openings playlist if you want to see more of this stuff. Last seal pack. Then we have our QCR that we've had sitting there for a little bit. Let's see what we get. Pedra? Shaman of the Ashen City. Okay. Well, we got a White Lord. Gotta pull that out. All right. Last pack magic. QCR is here. We saved it for the end. We see the shine on the side. We've already gotten the best QCR. Now I want that Dragonling. Let's go. Volmonica. We have Gruesome Gray Squirmer. Dokus. Tim, my Dragon Phaedra. We got Twin Dragon. Toddler. In Pop's Footsteps. Sangan Kaima. And it's a Synchro Gold Pride Eradicator. I can actually read this one when you turn it like that. Maybe the Synchros you can actually read. All right. Gold Pride Eradicator. Another nice QCR. We'll take it. Overall, a pretty insane opening. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Puffin Zudum, Ernesto Dan, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Another Side Show, Ian Moose, Junior Barney, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Chang Lang, and Aldelso Galicia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.